Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Wednesday morning mountain weather update. Some live cameras because it is a powder morning across parts of Colorado. Loveland ski area right on the Continental Divide, about five, six inches of new snow. Arapahoe Basin also reporting about five to six inches of new snow. And you can see it is, it's still snowing across some of the higher elevations up there. And we're not done. Again, this is just the first part of the storm system for Colorado and New Mexico. Uh, up to Keystone, beautiful view. People were skiing up there. Uh, yesterday I was looking at the camera, but you're looking down into Summit County and you've got additional snow on the way. You pick up about five, six inches of new snow as well. In fact, here's radar out of Colorado. You can see the rotation. We had this cold front come in, helped to really focus and lift the air over the mountains, the foothills, and even Denver. We got socked uh, pretty good, especially on the west and south sides of Denver. The eastern plains getting snow, several inches of accumulation out of this heavy wet snow. So the whole thing is going to continue to pivot over the top of uh, the front range, and especially southern Colorado. And it will continue to intensify over parts of New Mexico, where you can see the snow's just starting to build in. I think we got a few inches of new snow at Taos, but there's a lot more yet to go. So the low is going to develop over the four corners, and it's going to take its sweet time and come back over the same areas for a second shot of snow. 11, 7, 8, and 9. So it's going to have to come back north, and that will swipe Denver, Colorado Springs, Pueblo again with another shot of heavy snow. Let me zoom into the Denver metro area. So we've definitely got somewhat of a northeast wind lifting the air over the top of Denver. Again, several inches of wet, heavy snow accumulation, especially in the western and southern suburbs. Um, the Palmer Divide, the foothills getting nailed. Uh, pretty good with this snow, snow over the eastern plains. All right, so again, this is just the first part. Let me give you the lay of the land here on water vapor satellite imagery. So oranges and reds on this are your drier air aloft. The moisture, and I'm going to go ahead and just mark this as an area of low pressure because it's already starting to develop over the four corners, and it had a cold front with it, and the cold front's really stalled over the state of Colorado, helping to lift the air. But the whole thing, you can see it, the whites and the blues, that's your moisture aloft. So this low is going to take its time and eventually sweep back through New Mexico and Colorado coming up from the south and basically laying down another swath of heavy snow as it comes across. So we're just getting started in Colorado and New Mexico. Behind it, you can see this big spin up here in the, uh, the Gulf of Alaska. There's some, some moisture being streamed out ahead of it. Now, in the extended forecast, and let me just that takes me into my bullet points. In the extended forecast, so we've got the cold front today, Colorado, New Mexico. Turns into the cutoff low tomorrow, 8 and 9 with additional big snow. New Mexico, Colorado. The cold front now looks weaker on the horizon for 11, 11, and 11, 12. And I'll show it to you on the forecast radar and satellite. It comes across very quickly now. Um, but behind that, there's a storm system, 11, 12 through 11, 14. But I think it stays to the north through the Pacific Northwest, BC, Idaho, Northwest Montana, I think those areas are what will be favored. At least that's how it looks right now with that storm system. So that's what lies ahead. Here is my snow timeline um, for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, New Mexico, and Tahoe. Uh, Tahoe in the Sierra there of California. You can see the key dates. I'm not going to go through all of these, um, but I went ahead and put New Mexico on here again. Once, you know, we've got the cold front today, 11.6, and then the low develops 11.7, 11.8, moves all that snow back through New Mexico, southern Colorado, and then it moves it uh, to the north, into the, uh, the Denver area and beyond. So you get an idea of what uh, lies ahead there. All right, here is the, uh, the time height forecast for humidity in the atmosphere, a vertical slice. This is for Taos ski area in New Mexico. You can see the timeline at the bottom. You read that from right to left. And we are socked in with deep moisture um, through all of the high peaks, the ski areas, Wheeler, Angel Fire, um, Ski Santa Fe, deep moisture being lifted. And there's transport happening. So we're getting good oil graphics all the way through 72 to 80 hours from now. So the next three days are going to be pretty good for snow accumulation. Okay, here is Wolf Creek Pass, very similar. Deep moisture for the next 72 hours, a lot of lifting, a lot of transport throughout the atmosphere, and we should be looking at heavy snow accumulations from northern New Mexico all the way to the eastern side of the San Juans, over the top of the San Grays, even right down to the valley floors. And Antonito and the San Luis Valley will see snow accumulation out of this. Heavy snow through Cuchara. You know, just to give you some example, 
Um, in Taos, I'm forecasting two to three feet of total snow accumulation. Um, two to three feet on the way. For Wolf Creek, I'm forecasting two to three feet of accumulation on the way. I think one of the biggest winners with this will be Cuchara, the Spanish Peaks down in southern Colorado. I think we could see 40 plus inches in some of those areas. Here's the, uh, the forecast uh, jet stream by close of business today. You can see the cutoff low developing over the four corners. Um, and then it begins to make its move on 11.7. New Mexico, southern Colorado moves north on 11.8, affecting pretty much the rest of Colorado through 11.9. Then it's gone. Now, right there, coming out of the Pacific Northwest, diving down into the northern tier, that's that fast cold front on 11, 11, 11, 12, but then it's out of here. It just doesn't have as much with it as it looked like yesterday. And then we refocus. Everything now is up in the Pacific Northwest, BC, and northern tier. You can kind of see the dip and the jet up there through 11, 15. All right, let's put some precip out there. Here's the forecast radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon. Still some snow potentially falling, although it's going to be lighter at this point, over the top of Denver South, over the Eastern Plains, down I-25, certainly heavy snow in the southern mountains of Colorado, all the way down into northern New Mexico. Putting this into motion, here's 11.7 in the morning. Everything is down in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. In the afternoon, it's still there. Here we are on 11.8. Low is spinning up. Now it starts to make its move. On Friday afternoon, the low is going to come back north move all that snow back towards Colorado Springs, Denver, I-70, Summit County, Continental Divide, Eastern Plains of Colorado, and it should be mostly snow unless you're way out over the Eastern Plains, but there it is on Saturday. Snow continues. There's going to be wind with this on Saturday as well, and then that low breaks up, and then Sunday clearing skies across most of the uh, state of Colorado. And then there's the fast front right there. That's 11-12. You can see that area of snow, light to moderate accumulations racing down through Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. And then it's gone. And then that storm system way out there on the horizon is uh, mainly for the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Northern Tier. All right, my latest numbers, rest of today through tomorrow. Uh, obviously, it's all about Colorado and New Mexico, looking at one to two feet during this time frame for a lot of southern Colorado over the Wet Mountains, Cuchara, Taos, Angel Fire, Ski Santa Fe with less snow to the north, uh, maybe another one to three, one to four over the Continental Divide around Loveland, A Basin, Keystone, Winter Park, and maybe could still see another inch or two across Denver in the Front Range. Second time period is also big, and anything in uh, pink-purple is over a foot of accumulation. And still looking at another 4 to 12 across southern Colorado, northern New Mexico during this time frame. A lot of the snow then begins to shift, 11.8 and 11.9, back towards I-70, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, the Front Range High Peaks. Denver Metro is going to see snow accumulation out of this with several inches uh, we could be looking at moderate to heavy snow accumulations in the Denver metro area on top of what we've already got out of the second surge. Then you look to the north, that one cold front that comes through fast does hit the Tetons and big sky nicely with 6 to 12 inches. Pretty good through northwest Montana. BC looking good anywhere in pink purple is over a foot. And look at the Pacific Northwest and BC um, really benefiting from that final storm way out there on the horizon with potentially one, two, three feet of snow accumulation. So, and, and not much for the Sierra. I think 11, 12 might be the only shot for some light snow in the Sierra. But guys, there you go. A, um, a busy morning, a lot going on. Let me take you back again. The rest of today through tomorrow looks like this. Colorado, New Mexico is the are the bullseyes. And then what you see here is just a lot of snow in a lot of different places through 11:15. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.